What are life human signposts? Vincent Harding, civil rights elder and speechwriter for Martin Luther King Jr., in a 2013 interview tells the story of an encounter with a young man named Daryl. Daryl was selling drugs for his livelihood. The reason he gave for his career choice was the fact that he, like many other young people, were operating in a situation where they felt it was just very, very dark around them. He felt that what young people needed were life human signposts. These signposts are real, life people sharing their story with the intention of inspiring others to become their own light in the darkness. And here we can check out, these are, the first series has four uh, self-designed learners that pass through Swaraj University. And these are their intro videos. We're gonna have a intro article and we can check out um, a couple of these as well. Hi, I'm Stanjan Punsok and I'm from Ladakh, from Himalaya. And lately I've been doing, like I've been working as a eco architect or the sustainable architect for a while. We have our own thing or set a startup called Art Building. Me and my colleague, uh, we've been doing like this sustainable houses, like uh, mud houses in uh, mainland of India, in different part of India for like uh, quite a long time. So I started this journey in, like uh, like in little different way because I haven't done this like uh, normal schooling or college or anything. So I walked out of the school in between and then I started exploring this architecture by my own like uh, going to the different places where people are doing this sort of project and yeah so my interest like was in architect only but then I realized that the um, main college or there I may not be able to learn what I really want to learn because there won't be anything related to this uh, like uh, urban architecture or like to do really like hands-on and all so that's why I decided to walk out and then explore this thing by my own like we've been doing like that for uh, quite a while actually now it's been four to four to five years and then this year because of pandemic uh, we are doing some consulting uh, project and some designing project and other than then i am interested in education also so like soon i'm going to do a winter camp for a children in another village so that's it yeah thank you That is Stanson, and we can meet Artie as well. And could you full screen it? I tried to. It's not doing it. For Never mind. Is it hard to see? No, it's okay. I could pull it in YouTube if you think that would be better. No, it's totally visible. Okay. Sorry. Aarti Bhandari and I live in Mumbai. If you ask me what is my core purpose, um, I would say that for me right now, um, creating spaces of connection is something which I feel really called to do. I do this with multiple ventures which I, I am a part of. One is Conscious Connections where we want to make uh, big celebrations, significant celebrations of people more meaningful. Um, I also love working with children uh, and use modality of art to let them express freely. If you ask me what would uh, be my input towards um, the way we want to see higher education, I would say definitely it really helps you to deep dive into one subject. But I also want to see education not just in terms of career, but like in terms of life, like how it can really educate our mind and our heart and our skills uh, wholesomely. So yeah, thank you so much. Awesome, so that's Ardi and we'll watch Madhur as well. Hi, my name is Madhur Anand and I am from Bhopal, India. 
I'm an eco psychologist and entrepreneur and with my father who is a health scientist we run Sehat One which is a center for forest therapy where we are working on how can reconnecting with wilderness help us bring happiness and longevity into our lives. Uh, modern life is very convenient and there's a lot of technology but at the same time there is more disconnection, loneliness, depression, pollution and all these things. My vision for an alternative higher education is something which will equip us first of all also to deal with very earth uncertain times as we have seen in 2020 and also help us build more community, make our lifestyles happier, healthier, and uh, our world a more habitable place. Thank you. Okay, um, awesome. So continuing on, so the three people we met there were from, their alumni from Swaraj University and all together in the series, we're showcasing four people from Swaraj. And the series will be comprised of eight short articles that have videos and text and potentially illustrations. So different ways of capturing and presenting the, um, the stories that each of them shared. And each person did a two hour interview where we really got deep into their experiences and their journeys. And the video clips are just short clips from those deep conversations. Um, and then in addition, uh, we hope to put together a podcast that shows each individual. The short articles will kind of be merging and synthesizing their stories through the main themes, um, which included you know, experience with school, path to Swaraj, path to alternative university, their learning process and deep experiences, and also their parents' and peers' reactions. It was really interesting that often they would have these deep learning experiences in the alternative space, but they often had to lie to their parents or to deceive their parents um, because they were so skeptical of alternative university. Um, so this was, um, this will be the first series, Swaraj University. Um, an upcoming series will focus more on a livelihood or regenerative livelihood, and will showcase different practitioners of play. Um, and here we're gonna showcase Mary, who is a clown and social presencing theater practitioner from Argentina. Anthony, who is a juggler and performer and all sorts of other things. He does everything, but really uh, with a focus on playfulness. And he is uh, based in Italy and Sukmani, a clown and interplay practitioner from India. And Peter on the right, who is a, an experienced clown. And he's done a lot of work with clowning um, and using these practices to support kids with disabilities. So he's done a ton of work with clowning and creativity. Um, so this will be an upcoming series in the Live Human Signpost Project. But yeah, we're open to organizations highlighting alumni from different ecoversities or highlighting people that are doing uh, alternative regenerative livelihood 